could write everybody else. Okay, so let's light let's lighten up the mood a little bit. So I got a scenario Great. for you. All right. <laughs> so let's say you got your coworkers. Y'all cool. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, let's go out for some, let's go do some trap karaoke, you know, after work. Let's do some drinks. Let's do some hookah. Let's whatever. You know. So you got your Caucasian co-worker on I stage at trap karaoke. And they are they rapping and then they say the n-word how do you feel about that are you on some are you offended and you're like oh hell no i know chad did not say the n-word not no. chad or, or no. are you on some hey chad do you realize by you saying the n-word i took offense to that come on yeah. buddy like so <laughs> lou let's start it out how do you feel so, so like I said, it's about how you intake it, right? Okay. Because you listen to hip hop and rap every day. You get what I'm saying? So you can listen to uh, uh, Megan or somebody else calling you a BBB or a dude calling you a BBB all day, you know? And then then you get a, you don't get offended. But by the time a man in the street disrespect you, you get offended. But how you let this song call you this and that, and then you get offended, like. It's all about how you ain't take it, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think it's the song though. It's the, the it's the Caucasian dude there. saying well, the end. Well, well, he could be Caucasian or black, bro. It, you know what I'm saying? The song is not calling he, he specifically. He, he, gotta, he gotta do what make him money. You get what I'm saying? So you gotta look at it like that. That that doesn't bother me. That man gotta make his money. Hey, you gotta say that word. That's why they put Wait, it in. No, well, no, 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 no. Let, let, let me let me be, let me further explain what she's talking about. The scenario, right. the scenario is. The you and your co-workers, nigga. but yeah, but you and your co-workers, like he's your co-worker. It's not like somebody's right. performing or or oh, okay, he's your co-worker okay. doing co karaoke and Sorry he's saying that. like, yeah, he's saying the N-word and should you feel offended about somebody that's, you know what I'm saying? Like not necessarily uh, an entertainer, but Chad, you, the co-worker. Yeah, okay. that's what she was saying. Okay, Sorry. Gotcha. Uh, mm, yeah, I have pulled him to the side. <laughs> <laughs> You see, how, you see how quickly <laughs> your yeah yeah. yeah. Quickly that okay, so, so, so are you saying it's okay for white boy Chad if he was a rapper, it's okay for him to say it because that's, that's his job. That's his job. But just because you know he's just having fun after work mm -hmm. and he says it in a song, you you say pull him to the side. Hey, boy, I didn't I didn't heard it like. Okay. I mean, I, I think we before, all have. I, I That's look, why I want to bring know, it up. I think we all heard. I gave him that look yeah. like that. Like, hold up, no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like I said, I'm not a nigga. I know who I am. Right. You get know what I'm saying? So that's why it's all about how you intake what someone interprets. You know what I'm saying? So that's up to you. Like I said, he can say what he want to say. They say it in music all day. It is what it is. It's all about how you intake. All right. It's all about your, you know, so all about your emotions, how you intake that. It, it hurt your heart. Somebody call you that. You, you are. I mean, that's you. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Courtney, how do you feel about it? Uh, you hear Brenda uh, say nigga. These names. <laughs> okay. So, um, how do you feel about it? Are you like, Brenda, you know better? Well, okay. So, this is speaking from experience. Um, in California, I think... I don't know if there's like a group of black people somewhere in California who just like enable these people and let them say this word, but a lot of them are very comfortable with saying that word. Just they're just real comfortable with it, especially like with a certain climate of how things are. You think that people would probably be more precautious, like with you know the conversations going on, like like especially on social media and stuff like that. But they are really comfortable saying this word, and I've heard you know arguments from both of the sides like you know, of the reason, like, why they say it and stuff like that, but I just, I, I just, I don't understand their side of the argument because my thing is, is that if you're in an argument with a person who's not Black, it's one of the first things that come to mind that they want to call you, you know what I mean, when they get upset, so it's like, it's kind of... Right. It's, it's, right. it's hard for me to just accept that. And so, but I get that there are there are Black people who are like, no, they can say it, da 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 So I kind of have to tread that line, especially dealing with these people out here in California. My thing is, is that um, you kind of have to respect me when it comes to that situation. Because I just like, I can't speak for all Black people, they can't speak for all Black people either. If you don't hear me saying it around you, 
if you don't <laughs> see me, you know, just telling you that you could say that word around me, stuff like that, don't say it. But I, I mean, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. Just don't say it around me if you want to respect me. I, yeah. I just, I don't, I, mm, I don't like that. I don't like people who are not black saying that word. It does something to me. I don't, it just, I don't like it. And it's just, it's kind of, Mm, I don't know. And I think that I really do think part of the issue is because there are black people, you know, that let people of non black oh, say that word. That and is, that's, that's, it, that's my that's where I'm struggling with because it's like I'm trying to be like, well, you know, there are people saying that it's okay for them to say it. So that's mm -hmm. why they're saying it. That's why they're hey. so comfortable to say it. But if I'm going to sit here and hear you say it, I know it makes me feel some type of way. So I can only control that word when it's around me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's just that's just kind of, kind of how I am. I'm not going to, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't like the word. Hey, it, it, it's the dance. difference. It's the difference between nigga and ne ne negro. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, and I've heard that too, so, and I disagree because I don't care if you have an ER or an A at the, you're not black. I don't want to hear you say it. And it's that's, that's facts. Words. That's facts. It, that don't mean nothing. I'm it don't, but I mean, I don't call people nigga. You know what I'm saying? If, if I approach you, I'm like, hey, fam, or hey, Daniel. You know what I'm saying? I'm not approaching yeah. you, hey, nigger, hey, nigger. You know what I'm saying? A negro. That's disrespectful right there. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's, it's about how you approach somebody, yo. It's and, and it's not nice to use the word. I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the topic I don't of the discussion that. as far yeah. as like black people. They're saying like, should we just like eradicate the word? Period. Yeah, yeah but, people, yeah, but people are trying to say, but black people are trying to say that they're trying to take a hold of the word and spin it and make it positive by you know by saying, oh, what's up? You know, greeting like, hey, what's up? You yeah. know, yeah. I Ice Cube know. spoke about that. Um, I, I what forgot said. what it was. It was like an interview or something that Ice Cube did. Like, I think it was like years ago. And he was talking about um, using the N-word or whatever. And that was his take on it. He was just like, his thing was, yeah, like the word meant whatever it meant. But now that we have ownership of the word, yeah, we going to use it. And no, you still can't use it. It's just like, right. you know, you've already defined how you use the word. But we've already taken ownership of this word and we've given it a different meaning because, I mean, honestly, if you look at the word, the N word, just like the B word, it's like initially it has a, a negative connotation, but they have been so many other ways to define it that's attached to it. It's really dependent on who it's coming from. Like personally, I feel like with the N word, I just feel like, you know, at, at some point you got to pick a side, you know. I feel like at some point you're going to have to decide if you're not okay with the word, you know, because I feel like if you start just saying, okay, well, it's it's cool for this person to say it, and it's, it's cool for this person and not that person, you're getting in very sticky areas. So I think it's important for us to kind of think about, like, is it the word? Is it the word that we don't like or is it just the people? And I feel like, you know, at that point, you really have to do, you really have to pick a side when it comes to, to that word you know, is this something I'm going to allow or is it something I'm OK with or not? And I feel like with uh, everything that Courtney said, you know, it's it's kind of it's like a toss up. But it's just like at the same time, I know I'm not going to be comfortable or allow somebody to, to just come out there and out sideways when you're in my presence, when you're around me, my family and my friends. Now, it's a difference. You can go out there where you go. You know, as nobody check you over there, I can't run up on nobody and say, oh, you let him do this and you let him do that. Because at the end of the day, that man or that woman is their own person. You're not responsible for that person's actions. And you're not responsible if they get socked in the mouth for saying something. That's up to, you know, whoever in the situation. Everything y'all saying is right. Everything you're saying yeah, is right. Nothing not, not, not wrong. You know what I'm saying? So ain't no disagreements with it. Everything right. They need to get, a, get rid of the word straight you up. Know, you know what also is? Is that I think, I mean, this, this is just a added on like story that I have to tell but you know how like some like people who are not black they like they're like oh it's just a song it's just this and all stuff like that yeah. but you know there was this girl that I used to work with she said the word and I don't normally say that word like that's not in my I cuss a lot but the that word is not something that I say all the time it'll come out here and there but it's right. not something and I'm ne and I know that I make it a point not to say that word in front of people who are not black and so she had said it and she said it real comfortably and I made a face 
And if she was truly just like, that's just the word, is da 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 da, blah, 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 she wouldn't have reacted to my face. But she reacted mm-hmm. to it and she did not say it again when she saw my face. I didn't say anything about it. I made a face. So obviously you have another definition with that word if you saw that I was uncomfortable with you saying it. Right. And if, especially right. when you know where it comes from. You know what right. I'm saying? Um, and uh, real quick, uh, Lou is going to head out. Um, Lou, you can head out. You can drop off the call. Uh, whenever you can, but um, and then I'll still promote your business and everything after. Right, thank after- you. I'll do the same. Y'all send me y'all business to my uh, uh just send it to my page, I guess. Right. I'll do it like that. Y'all have a good night. Thank y'all. You too, right, no, thank you. Thank you. Um, I, another thing I want to say about the word uh dealing with what, what uh Whitney was saying um about ownership of the word like black people black people um uh want to take ownership of the word um. Another way, uh, by, another way you can look at it is like I've I've heard like watching uh specials and stuff where uh Caucasian people, white people would say, uh yes, we still got them using that. Like it doesn't matter how we flip it or yeah. embrace each other with it. Like at the end of the day, you're still calling yourselves niggas. Like just like when the incident happened with the uh, the little boy that had the, the coolest monkey in the jungle. Like, you yeah. can't even call a black person a monkey or say you look like a monkey without a black person being like, about to tear your mm-hmm. ass up. But yeah, yeah. You, you still feel comfortable calling each other niggas, like, our nigga, you know, even but though My you question know, for that is, why can't why can't we, if, if that's what we're comfortable with? And not to cut you off, but I wanted to say this, like, there's, there's words for different races that they use for themselves. We're not the only one, nor are we the first one to take yeah. a word that was meant for, for negativity and adopt it into something positive. You know what I'm saying? I have plenty of Hispanic friends. Like mulatto. Plenty, like plenty of, I have plenty of uh, uh, Spanish you friends. You gotta change her name though. And they use, they use the S word. Yeah, I don't what know if you know saying. what the S word. They use, they use plenty, yeah, plenty of words. Big that, you know what? You're so right, Daniel, because I used to live in Del Rio, Texas. That population is nothing but Hispanics most, right. for the most part. And they all use the, the, the B word. The, they use the, the B word. They use the, the S word. Washington, but the Beaner, they all they all used it as like their own little slang. Of course, I never said that because I wasn't trying to have no problem. But right. they all use that. That being said, they also use the M word too. But that's another story for a different day. Yeah, <laughs> but it's just a simple fact of like, a lot of people say, I'm just, and I'm just re- rebuttaling over what she said, Ashley. And uh, thank you, Courtney, for backing me up on that. Like, it's just literally like, we can't have nothing. You know what I'm saying? And that's, and that's what the annoying part is because I'll even talk about the Caucasian race. The C word, they call themselves that. The R word in the South, they call themselves that. You know what I'm saying? At Marion High School, I've had plenty of Caucasian friends that refer to themselves I'm sorry for anybody Caucasian. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying the word for people that don't know. They call themselves rednecks. But as soon if, if we say it, it's a derogatory manner. You get what I'm saying? Well, but not we they rednecks that. anymore. Now they just Trump supporters. Well, but you, <laughs> you get what I'm saying though. Like right, yeah, I got so you. why yeah. can't why can't we if we want to because I'm totally with what Whitney was saying about uh about what Cube said. Um it's it's, it's yeah, we took that word, we spun it. Yeah, yeah. we're using it. But we're not, it's, it, you can, you're getting mad if we say the R word or the C word to you. You get offended to that. And it's the same ones that get offended to that, that want to use the N word. Tell me I'm lying. You know what I'm right. saying? They want to use the N word. They want to be like, oh, they want to get comfortable in the bed and be like, mm-hmm. yeah, these, these, these N words. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's I, what I'm tired of is the double standard. This, and the reason why is because this word at one point in time was embedded in my vocabulary. Like I had to really train myself to be professional because I'd be at work. Like, man, you know, this end getting on my nerves after they leave. Like, and I'm like, I can't really say that when half my staff is white. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I, no, you I gotta really, definitely can't say right, that. Right. Like, and that's what I had, I did have to learn. Like, there's a time and a place. But at the same time, like, if I wanna, if somebody comes in and they visit me and I'd be like, ah, my nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. and people be like, oh my God. And it's like, well, y'all literally call each other the R word and the C word. Why can't we have a word for ourselves? Why can't we have anything? You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what it is. Yeah. Like that's that's what bothers me more than anything. Like All right. you just can't have nothing. Kiki, what's your thoughts on it? Okay, so listening to everybody and listening to everything, I can agree, I can disagree. 
But one thing that like are you are you yeah. pulling are you pulling your coworker to the side and saying don't say that? Are you like, okay, I don't care, it's just a word? Um no, I'm just I'm not saying it's just a word, but I'm not gonna pull them to the side because one, they're performing. Like <laughs> it ain't no rap show you know i know it's not they getting paid and stuff but they singing karaoke if it's the song and they singing the song they gonna do it they i mean just say the words just as if if we were singing one they song and they put redneck in it we're singing it so my but my thing is redneck doesn't have the same history as that yeah i don't think that's that's why somebody cracked i get i get get that I'm, i'm but what i'm just saying is First, like, first thing is first, as far as where the, where all of the words come from, whether it's Caucasian, whether it's cracker, right. whether it's redneck, whether it's nigga, whatever, wherever it came from. The only thing about that is each one of them, it all has a, some got different meanings, like I said, and some got a whole nother totally different meaning, like I have said. So you got parts of the United States, they don't look at that as offensive because they never had, had the slavery or had the anything like that around them they wasn't raised with that they wasn't uh they had to learn as far as the history of that like because it really wasn't up north and out there especially like california stuff like you said you were surprised at the people that's out there and they can say it and stuff courtney because they they that's not what they had they see i see what you're saying but the fact that you it's like (laughs) It's like um, a child stealing something or something like that. Like they know that's not what they're supposed to do. Right. But because they're a child, they're supposed to get away with it. No, and that's not. That's I was not born. What in, I was kind of born and raised in Connecticut, and we still didn't. But that's, that's that. like the analogy. Like that's you. You're aware of what that you. You're aware that people are offended by that. So that doesn't yeah. just grow up with the repercussions of saying it. That doesn't mean it should be okay. No, that's not what I'm saying. So what I'm saying. What I'm saying is every people have to learn a lot of people have to learn the history of why it's so offensive like just like you said a child that's growing up they don't know what's wrong for stealing until you teach them they had to learn that stealing is wrong so a lot of those people have had to learn that that word can be offensive now me personally no i'm not gonna pull them to the side they just singing a song but you can also tell the difference in between someone that feel like they're good enough to be your friend and someone that's actually using that word to be wrong. But then back to something y'all said, as far as we as people accepting that word, I'm like, Daniel, I have had to, and I'm still doing it because I catch myself calling my cousin that when he act crazy sometimes. <laughs> but I, I have to, I have had to train myself and stuff not to say that because I have begun to feel like if anybody can't use that word with me, I shouldn't use it because why would we want to adopt something that was meant for our harm anyway? So it's just, I, that's the only reason why I wouldn't pull them aside is they just performing. Like it's just karaoke. It ain't like they got up there and got the mic, song ain't on, nothing ain't happening. And they just get it there and start talking like it. they were singing. They're singing a whole song. Can I cut you off real quick? Just real quick. Just off of what you said. I'm sorry. The only thing that the only thing that would bother me about that is about what you're saying is you give somebody an inch, they'll take a mile. And that's the only thing that I won't tolerate. Because well, how I feel about that is yes, they're just performing, but in it's 2021. Let's just be honest. Everybody, besides toddlers, of course, everybody knows what that no, word is. Wrong. So yeah. if you're if you're performing a song, I feel like in the back of their head, like I'm gonna see what they say. And then I'm gonna sing it. And if they don't say none, all right, well, at the water cooler the next day, yeah, what's up, man? Words like not saying that they would do that, not saying that they would do that, but some people would. Some people would see how far they can go with us and then just get comfortable. You get what I'm saying? And Not just to cut you off. That, I just we do that to, with each other. Off what you said, do. like I, t- I said, like I said, I was surprised that people were so comfortable saying that word. But like I said, with the story that I gave, she still noticed my reaction to that word, and she has yeah. not said it in front of me again. Yeah. Okay, so she people respected would do was... you. She respected you on that. But, but that's, that's what the thing. She didn't. Was she, she wasn't aware that that was an offensive word. She she would have acted. She wouldn't have reacted to that. 
or let's just say Not that Courtney, really. let's just say that Courtney never made a face. Let's say that Courtney thought about the disrespect and skip, and kept a poker face. She's a, she's paying attention to that. Exactly. And now it's like, like okay, I said it once. I could say it again. Exactly. I, get, I, get, I get what Keith is saying, though. Keith is saying. That we, if we're going by Daniel's logic, then that means we need to pull him to the side. And I don't know. I'm going to beat point. you up type shit. Like, we my just need point. to say, right. hey, that's not right. Yeah, because yeah. like like what she said, it's just, it's all about the person. And I, and I was just saying, as far as with me, that's why I said I didn't mean to cut you off. As far as with me, I'm just not going to tolerate that because that's just, it makes me feel a certain way. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, and there's nothing wrong for you. I'm not saying you're wrong for not wanting to pull him to the side. That's not the reason why I stepped in and, and said what I want to say. I just feel like sometimes mm -hmm. what we allow will continue. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's kind of like domestic I, violence. It's kind of like it's kind of like you you have a child and she steals. I think one of y'all uh Courtney. brought that up. Courtney. Uh, Courtney brought it up and she steals and she knows she's not supposed to steal, but mama sees her steal, don't say nothing. So guess what? She gonna steal again. Doing. You know what I'm saying? And, and she, that's why that's that's why I said that I can only control that word around me. So me, I was right. I would bring them aside and say, listen, you listen to that, you want to sing the song in your car with your other friends, that's fine. Don't say it around me because it makes me feel some type of way. Right. I can't talk for the next black person beside me. Yeah. Right. That's the only I mean, reason why goes, I said that. I didn't mean to cut you off, but that's the only reason why I said that. And that goes for all of us. That's how I mean, that's how it's gonna be. No, I don't. I, I do take offense to those that do try to use that word the original way it started. I do take offense to that. That's why I can't watch Root because I get I get I, I get angry. I ain't gonna lie. I get angry. I don't go out here fighting, but I do get angry. I and, and, and it upsets me and it hurts me so bad. But I also look at it in a manner of when y'all were saying about doing away with the word. We are, I know some people ain't gonna like it, some people ain't gonna care, but I feel like we all should do away with the word because it's it doesn't matter in our net, net I can't get the word out now, but ethnicity. Ethnicity. and in other yeah. we it's like people like how we treat each other. So you got people that kind of feel like, well, they treating each other like that. Then you know what I'm. I must. I could. Be, I could be able to do it too and stuff. And that. And that goes in families. Like if you look at certain families, when they see how a mother is treating a child, you'll have other people on the outside. Well, no, mama don't care. So I don't have to. I don't have to care too. So my thing is one. I feel like we shouldn't even be trying to adopt that word to try to make something positive out of it when it was already created yeah. to be negative. It was already created to down us. And this has been some this something that has been happening for years. Like in the Bible, we're turning us turning against each other. And when I was in a class, they showed a video. And that and the leader of the KKK, he specifically has said himself, he said, they sitting up here worrying about us, telling us we killing the black man. No, we're not. They're doing our job for us. Oh, yeah, yeah, they probably say that. That's so, his, his going into the BL, the Black Lives Matter, Black, Black Lives Matter movement, you know, because, you know, people, that's a whole nother right. topic we can kind of talk about where they say, just briefly, they just be like, why y'all so worried about white officers gunning down Black people when y'all gun down each other and y'all are not, they marching people protesting. People are gunning down people in every single race. That's not a real argument. I don't, I don't think that's an argument for that, but well, well, I'm going to say this, right? I'm going to say this right here. Um, with listening to all of y'all and especially what Keista was saying and um Daniel was saying, y'all just made me realize something. I wrote I wrote it down a little bit. Well, it's up here. All right. You made me think that um uh, the N-word is like pork. And I think Whitney can chime in on this because she's oh what well, Whitney and uh Courtney, y'all are healthy. Uh the N-word <laughs> is like pork. And what I mean by it's like pork is you know, back in the day, uh, slavery, like where the chitlins and the hog mouths and the pig feed and all the other stuff, that was the scraps, you know, but Black people took what was bad and what was left over and they turned it into making it something that tastes good. So that's what I'm thinking, like, y'all got me thinking now, like, it's the N-word, like, the scraps, like the pork meats and stuff. Like, we know it ain't good for us. We know we don't need it, but yet we still eat it and we season it and flavor it and make it taste good. So do away mm -hmm. with the pork, do away with the N-word. 
you take the pork out your life, you feel better, you look better, you, you think better, you know? So maybe we should just take the N-word out, the vocabulary whatsoever. Because like Keith was yeah. saying, it was done. It was it was created for something negative and harmful. And just because we got it and then flipping it, it's still like, it don't matter how the way you fucking flip it. Yeah. It's that's just, why I was saying like at some point you will have to decide if you're going to be okay with it all the way around or you're not going to accept it because you weren't run into those sticky situations oh somebody get to say it. I don't get to say it why can y'all say it I can't say it like you run into that and I don't know I mean I know all of y'all follow me on social media but that's just like you know recently I had posted a status about using the word the ghetto. ghetto you yeah, know I and I just it. yeah I just I just you know I was watching something and they had said something was ghetto and it just it just reminded me and made me think of because I'm like, you know, I like when something is just like when somebody is being real rude or they just being loud or whatever, I'm quick to say, well, not quick to say, but I'll sometimes will make a reference just to be like, oh, they so ghetto, they so this and so that. And I just realized that it's a, a lot of words in our vocabulary that we need to uh, really think about how we're using them and why we're using them. And we do need to unlearn or, or remove some of those words from our vocabulary because I feel like certain words like that, they carry negative connotations. And as long as we continue, like you mentioned, Ashley, as long as we continue to use these words and continue to say them, they're just going to be accepted. So I just feel like, you know, I, me personally, I'm trying to make a personal effort to think about the words that I use in my vocabulary to really understand like what is what am I really trying to say when I say this word like what are you really saying just like if somebody was around me that's white and they said nigga like especially if it's I'm be like what you why, why would you say that like what why do you why would you describe something or him like that or whatever the case may be like what is the root of why you want to use this word so bad like what makes something ghetto and you know you'll start to figure out like you're attaching certain traits certain characteristics and certain verbs to this word and you don't even realize it so i think uh the n word is one the b word ghetto ratchet um a lot of other things that are just in our normal vocabulary and you know we might not even realize how much like negativity we still attach to ourselves as a community and so until we get that off ourselves like no we're not this we're not that even what daniel was saying about the whole using a kid or whoever had like the monkey on them you know, oh, that was me. The um, monkey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In the jungle. Yeah. You know, I'm just like mixed up about something like that because it's just like, at some point we're gonna. Ha I feel like at some point it's just like, I really don't get offended by, like, I didn't get offended by that because the monkey, he's an animal. Kids like monkeys. They like other things in the jungle. They like this and they like that. But I don't think as a community, we will ever get to the point where we can really just be free with certain things like that. Like we're never going to be okay with any monkey reference. Not not saying that we should be okay if somebody call us a monkey, but I am saying that you should be able to enjoy certain things without, you should be able to enjoy certain things. Yeah. Like without reaching like if my kid likes monkeys or if they like going to the jungle, they like the zoo, I don't think we should automatically get offended because they 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 do something like that. You know, so I just feel like it's a lot of a lot of unlearning that we have to do, a lot of relearning um that has to take place in our community for us to get to a place and and people have to realize that we have to treat our community differently in the sense of it's a lot of layers to peel back and there's going to have to be a lot more patience because it's so many things that's embedded in that yeah it's, it's, it's just it's, you know, it's a lot can I ask you a question though you know so i just felt like we just we just really had to that's why i go courtney i was gonna say i just want to know are you saying that we need to change our verbiage on how we describe things and all that stuff like that for the benefit of the other races picking that up and using those connotations for it or are you no, saying that no, I'm saying that we should, yeah, for our own, because I feel like even when we use the word or whatever word we use, we use it in a negative way. So I feel like we should change our vocabulary based on what we feel like we're saying. So if you're, if, if you, to me, it's just like, I don't, I don't, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying we should change what, how our vocabulary based on what they feel. I'm saying change it based on how we are saying it and what it means to us. Like to us, you know, we're saying something is ghetto, like we're attaching, like it's low class, it's cheap, it's this, it's that, and that, and that. Like if if we're constantly putting so many negative vocabulary and words to communicate with each other 
in our community, it's like that's going to continue to stay there, not for based on another race or whatever. I'm just talking about for our community to, to be empowered or to feel like, you know, like there are certain negative things about the ghetto. Like like I mentioned in my post, like the people in the ghetto didn't ask to be in the ghetto. In the ghetto. Those are situations that, create, that were created out of their control. So it's like if they didn't couldn't help, they didn't have resources or different things like that. So why can't continue to have this group of people labeled that way so when you say some like people really still live in the ghetto so like when you keep saying oh that's ghetto that's ghetto like that's that's offensive to people in our community that's what i'm saying like you're saying words that's hurting your own community that they actually take offense to from you as a black person so that's that's kind of like where i mean i, I, I just want to make it clear because um i think because like daniel was saying like we can't have anything i thought like you were trying to trying to say that we should do that because you know because you know how less white people love is still black culture so you yeah. know how they like to pick up See, things and that's so how nice. they use those words because like we <laughs> might be like oh that's ratchet and then you know now everybody's saying like this is ratchet to describe right right like, and period and, and so i thought you were saying, like, <laughs> to stop that from being you know the thing but if if it's for our own but i mean it is it is a percentage of that and that's why i say that we also have to understand like just because of our history and where we come from, I feel like there's so, it's it's like one way, then there's a counter way. Like it's something to counter everything that we do. So it's like, like yeah, mostly what I'm saying is because I want us to not have a negative image of ourselves within our own community. But another part is, it is like, I feel like because certain things is so widespread and so widely used, like, they always just gonna take what we do and run with it. Like I, I know that's something that we can't control. But I just don't want, I just don't want us to be the ones hurting our own selves or us up in our own. We still right. talking about the N word, right? As far as not using it for each other, is that what you're saying, Whitney? I'm sorry, I stepped to the bathroom. Okay, no, I, I, I was kind of away from that word. I was just talking about like ghetto and ratchet and stuff. Oh, okay. I'm all yeah. for like, you know, choosing better verbiage to for the benefit of ourselves. I guess I'm just kind of it's it, it's like I'm torn with that because it just it irritates me that we have to like change. part of that percentage would be for because white white yeah. or non-black people choose to pick up that culture and use that verbiage to how they think that we're describing you know what I mean like yeah it, I see that's where I'm at that's exactly where I'm at but like, I'm yeah. off, I, I don't like, want to have to change for you right you know exactly that's 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 what i'm yeah. trying to say i just that irritates yeah. me to the bum but far oh, own, the, I, so I, are y'all like the, the it, it's like the members only club like black people only is that like the n-word yeah like, that's what it is i mean like, like honestly that's I just what that. it is like that's the cold word that's the key word for us we took something that you meant so my thing is you can't you gave us this word for negative connotation to belittle us to put us down to make us feel less than Okay, we took this word, like he, like like she said, Cube said, flipped it and turned it into something to be borderline empowerment and things of that nature. That just because we take that word and make it positive, don't mean you get to say it in a positive manner when your people are the ones who meant it for a negative man. You get what I'm saying? Does that make sense? It makes sense to me. It just like it ain't got nothing to do with y'all. Like that's just how I'm looking at the word. Right. Like, that, that is none of y'all. Like, why y'all want to do everything we do? Like I'm, exactly. I, I'm flat. Kiki, Kiki, what was you? Kiki, what was you saying? So we can wrap this up because it's about to be ten thirty. No, oh, what, well, oh. what I was just saying real quick, as far as like all what they were saying and stuff, um, as far as the cleaning up for ourselves, one, it does have to start at home. Uh, Michelle in it a little bit. Uh. The, the, it says to love the Lord our God with all our heart, mind, body, and soul, and then do unto others as you have them do unto you. Love them like you love yourself. So love them like you love yourself is the same that it's like standards. If you know that you're not gonna take a man disrespecting you, if you're not gonna take a man doing this and doing that, you know your self worth. You know what you accept hearing. You know what you accept doing. You know what you do, and all that stuff. So it's like in, in our community, or like you said, our member, uh, members club only, I mean, you know, club members only, right. or whatever the case may be, if we know what we're going to accept and how we're going to feel, we at first got to clean up ourselves so we'll know what we're going to accept and what we're not going to accept from others. So as is looking on it as a basis because it was, and the attentions of, like, you cannot erase the, the creation of it. Because of the creation of it, 
if you you can try to clean it up if you want to but it's still there because that is how that's the foundation of it but you have to first like uh, for what Whitney said you first have to do it for you you have to do it for you because other people treat you how for some reason I don't know why but they will treat you according to how or what you accept so uh, a lot of them do accept feel like well y'all all right disrespecting each other or disrespecting yourself so why not, well, not I know we got I know we got to wrap up but can I ask one question with that can I ask one question I know we got to wrap up this this yeah. question but the only question that I have for you Kista is I give you a scenario would this be would this be the same thing for you know everybody our family has a nickname for us okay right. our family has a nickname for us my friends have a nickname for me okay so when i have, went to college every black person got two nicknames right their family so my, name and their, and their friends name. name so my friends my friends had a nickname for me in college uh that i told them they can call me my closest friends would call me pork chop okay if you don't know there's there's people on that campus that didn't know me i did not allow them to call me pork chop or any variation of that word okay and until you get to know me i am daniel okay <laughs> So, is is that not the same thing? Is that not the same thing? If okay, if I call, if I call Ashley my my n word, like hey, that's 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 my n word, and she's okay with that because she she's okay with the word. It's still it, it's still borderlines on the same thing as me. Is, am I making sense? Like well, because I don't want Keisha to answer this because I know what she go, it's gonna take a long time. Basically, <laughs> what basically what Keisha is saying is hell no, y'all. No, it's negative. Get away with okay. it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this right here. I'm a another thing that popped up in my head as y'all was talking. You know how uh, they've done away with the Confederate flag and the statues and stuff like that, and black people was like, "Yeah, tear it down." Mm -hmm. I think that's what she's saying with the N word. Oh, okay. Like we know where it I comes from. So I see if, what you, you're if you now. you taught we in South Carolina, okay. you taught of the white boys with the dirty pickup trucks with the fucking Confederate flag waving it. You know, are you see the license plates with the Confederate flag? Are you seeing with the hat to make it like you don't like that? So back away from the N word. That's what she said. And I get what you I, listen. Cor listen. Courtney and Daniel ain't having that. No, listen, that's gonna be people that's watching this. That's gonna say we are too educated. First off, we don't know what we're talking about. We 400 years of slavery compared to how long was that war? <laughs> I said, you well, compared 400 years of slavery to Three how years, long? three years. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't, those, you can't compare those two. Then, I'm, well, I get your point, though. I get your point. I understand what she's saying. I understand what she's saying. Right. And, you know, I, I'm, if, you know, if there was a collective agreement and people were like, we should end it, da, 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 <laughs> I don't say the word a lot. So I'm all for, like, right, I, right, right. Yeah, I'm just saying, right. like, well, I do. I say a lot. Thing, you can't compare 400 slaveries to a three to four year war. Okay. Well, it, that well, people are going to watch this and play devil's advocate with your math equation. Then they would say, "Why would you want to do something that was dragged out for 400 years? You should be focusing more on that word, eradicating that word, versus the freaking flag that was around for the three year war." I mean, you understand? Point, point you see what I'm saying? Point no. Made. <laughs> okay, Courtney. That's what I get. You're coming at it about like the whole fact of we you we have something we took it to try to make it positive, like pork. Okay, are you gonna make? Are you gonna eat pork tonight? Can you make a, a BLT? Are you gonna eat it? No. All right, just start using the word. All right, next topic. Uh, <laughs> pork is niggas. Pork is the N word. Oh, right, I'm like, so wait, what? I'm I'm confused. Confused. <laughs> Look, she said that to get Courtney to shut up. She just shut up. I was about to say it. Like, it, it, so it, it didn't make sense. It didn't make sense. So you couldn't come back with nothing. When you rewatch the footage, you'll understand. Because I said about the port, in, the N word is like port. Black people don't. We took it scraps. It was negative. It's bad for your health, but yet we oh, still okay. eat it. We season I, it with I, food. I get That's it. what I mean. That's what I mean. I, I know, was, Brittany. I was so Brittany, confused. you gotta go back and watch the video. You gotta go back and watch it. Okay, Brittany, I was. I'm on the show, and I was just confused. I was like, <laughs> what? I'm, okay, real quick. Basically, earlier, about 10, 15 minutes ago, I said I think the N word is like pork, which is. Back in the day, in the slavery days, the white people ate the good stuff. Black people were left with scraps. Hence, 
the hog mouths, the pig feet, the pig ears, the pig tails, the uh, chitlins. You know, they took that nasty, disgusting stuff. Like some black people don't eat that now, you know, because it's, it's horrible. It's horrible for your insides, your body, and it just stinks, you know. But what black people have done was taken it and seasoned it and cooked it and made it seem like something, uh, made it taste better. But just because it tastes better, you put a little bit of barbecue sauce on it and it's seasoned salt or whatever, it's still bad for your insides. It's still going to raise your blood pressure up, you know. So some people, Whitney and uh, Courtney, they don't deal with that stuff. You know, they have a, 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 a better diet, you know. And so I asked Courtney, are you going to make a BLT, a bacon, lettuce, tomato? And she said, confidently, firmly, hell to the no. <laughs> so I said, stop using the N-word. Look at it like that, you know. All right, let's move to the um the last one, which is uh this is a more lighthearted one or whatever. Um, 